Hey VC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick video here. This is going to be a video response to uh, Anderson in Stockholm, his Give Me 10 video. Um, neat little video that he put up. It's not really like a subscribers contest or anything like that. He just kind of had a video idea that he, you know, kind of responded to himself and said if anyone wants to uh, reply, to uh, do a reply. So um, it was a great question and one that uh, was very hard to kind of narrow down. So as always, I'm going to cheat a little bit. Uh, but the Give Me 10 was basically share 10 songs that were deeply moving to you, uh, you know, give you the goosebumps, all that, that good stuff. And so just to pick 10, I mean, most of you that know me know that my musical taste is just kind of everywhere. And so I drove myself crazy with, you know, leaving certain stuff out. So I thought, well, it's not a contest, like you're not going for a number of entries or anything. So I'm just going to do one, uh, I'm going to do a Give Me 10 video, which this one will be of just kind of rock songs. I'll do, I'm going to do another video, give me 10 metal songs, give me 10 R&B, and then give me 10 jazz. So I'm going to do kind of a give me 10 in those kind of four, four different genres. So this is just kind of, again, rock, if you will. Um, you know, and some of them just kind of came right to me. Some took a lot of thought, but I think I kind of came up with some pretty good answers. So at least I think so. And as always, you know, for me, you'll get some different kind of things, so um, let's just kind of jump right into it. And actually the first one, let me turn this up a little bit, because the first one on my list is what you're playing in the background. Number one is going to be Neil Young's My My Hey Hey off of Rust Never Sleeps. I mean, obviously there's a lot of, there's, there's a number of different songs I could have picked by Neil Young. I mean, After the Gold Rush was right there, as well as Keep on Rocking the Free World. So something about Neil is, um, it's just like so, like you've heard me talk about Johnny Cash and how I associate him and I'm so moved by any time he starts singing about death and the beyond and all that, Johnny Cash totally freaks me out. Neil Young Every, I guess the thing that moves me so much about him is his expression of just like freedom, of like, um, you know, liberation and just all those different elements and feelings come into play whenever I listen to Neil. And, you know, so every time I hear him say, you know, hey, hey, my, my, rock and roll will never die, I mean, just no one can strum that and say it the way that Neil does. And when he does, I mean, you just you just feel it. There's just something so genuine about that guy. And then, oh my gosh, when he goes into this harmonica part at the end, I mean, goosebumps just dang near take control of my body. It's just one of the most beautiful things I've ever heard. I mean, like, that part right there... Oh, man, this... That must be like what doing crack. That must be what that feels like, because I just can't imagine much feeling much better than that. But uh, so yeah, Neil Young's "My My Hey Hey" definitely one of my all-time never stops the goosebumps. Uh, just extremely moving song to me. Next, and and this is really kind of based off of what I'm jamming to right now. Um, but Love Inks. Uh, there's a lot of good songs on here, but but the song Leather Glove, that, that is just something about that that, again, right now, it's just one that I listen to a lot. And it, it's just, uh, it kind of has that that 80s alternative tone to it a little bit. Well, that's probably not even accurate. But, uh, again, there's just something about that song that is really vibing with me right now. And I listen to it over and over and over, and there's just a, there's just a smoothness to it. There's just something about it that just makes me feel good from the first note all the way to the last. And it's kind of peaking for me right now. So that's one I would pick, too, is, uh, again, Leather Gloves by Love, Inc. There's just kind of, there's some really interesting points in that song of just, 
almost like this this yearning and crying out that comes from her in such like a soft kind of melaton type. I don't know. It's really hard to describe, but it's definitely something I've been feeling quite a bit. Um, as far as moving songs, this is another one that won't be a shock to those of you in the VT that really know me because I have not been able to stop ranting and raving about Amor Fate by um, Washed Out. That That's a song that really brought me to the group and it's the one song that never gets old and every time I listen to it, it never stops me from just throwing my head back and closing my eyes and taking it in because it's just so... It's just so moving. It's just so um, emotionally, uh, again, hard to even put it into words. So that's definitely one that I, I have to put on that give me ten list. Another one here that uh, might be a little bit of a shock, but maybe to some of you who are really familiar with the band, but Band of Horses, they do a good job of mixing kind of that alternative and country focused sound together. And one song where they just knock it out of the park is uh, the Death Look Shrimp. Um, another one of those songs that just, every time I hear it, I always feel like I'm feeling something so much more beyond just the lyrics of the song. There's a, again, just kind of, there's this smoothness to it and this flow to it that just takes you to kind of a creepy place, actually. At least it's the way it kind of feels to me, so... Uh, Deadlift Shrimp by Band of Horses, definitely one of my ten. The one CD that makes the cut, and again, this is just how Mr. Hall of Fame does it. <laughs> I bet none of you saw that coming. Michael Bolton. This is the one thing, it's named the CD. The song said, I loved you, but I lied. Again, every time I hear that song, I mean, just like my eyes are closed and I'm belting it just as hard as Michael is. It's, I mean, obviously everyone knows that Michael Bolton is one of those, you know, kind of make fun of type things and all of that. I love those commercials he did over the uh, the Christmas break for uh, one of the car dealers, like Lexus or something like that. But uh, that song said I loved you, but I lied. I, I, I don't care what anybody says. That song is slamming, it, it's moving, it's, even just, I mean, just the subject matter and, and how he's delivering it, that is a powerful song, and every time I'm here, I'm just like, Michael is the man, I don't care what anybody says, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, that, that's all I can say, I mean, he makes my give me 10, for sure, next on the give me 10, off of this album, which is Beach House Bloom, or Beach House, but then the album is Bloom. And again, this song goes hand in hand with Leather Glove from uh, Love, Inc. Two songs I have in a playlist right now, again, that I cannot stop listening to back to back, is Leather Glove by Love, Inc. and um, um, The Hours by Beach House Bloom. Both, both of those songs, again, there's just this, there's, there's just an, an intensity to them for for songs like so soft and floaty that there's just such this this like emotion and passion, passionate intensity to them and I just so feel it every single time I listen to it and so that's definitely another one that has to go on my my list another one you might not see coming Ario Speedwagon. Ever since I saw them and Sticks, excuse me, and Ted Nugent about, what, six months ago, seven months ago, something like that, the song Don't Let Him Go, it's just, it just gets more intense every single time I listen to it. And I, I don't know why, it just, it just kind of came out of nowhere after seeing him in concert. But again, it's just a, there's just a passion to it, and there's a, uh, as soon as I hear that little, that little drum kind of rolling beat that kicks in at the very beginning of the song, when it kicks up on my playlist, it's just like, I mean, I, I just get like so pumped up and so ready just to blast through that song. So again, it may not stay that way forever, but right now, that that's one of my top ten just totally making me feel, making me move type songs. Another one here, which I know a lot of people 
in the VC like this band, but I haven't really heard a lot of people talk about this particular song. But uh, Leonard Skinner, Give Me My Bullets Back, off of that album, which again, there's a lot of great songs on this album. Um, but the, the one that really stands out, that belongs in a Give Me Ten list, is All I Can Do Is Write About It. That's the name of the song. It's it, it's an awesome song, which, uh, again, it's one you have to kind of just listen to, but the, the the thing I think is so powerful about it is, as a lot of things Leonard Skinner, Skinner does, he, he's singing about, you know, his southern heritage and how, you know, how much uh, he's so proud to be from the, the South and missing home and all that kind of stuff. But he just does it in such a powerful way in that song that, I mean, it's just, you're just like, shit, I need to move down South because that's just like the, I, <laughs> you know? And, and again, even when he's singing about it, he's not talking about, you know, how not necessarily great it is as much as how home it is and uh and again every time i listen to that song it's just like god it's it's few times i think i should say few times but those times in music when an artist seems to be truly and completing completely letting you into their soul um you know there's moments like no woman no cry with bob marley which could easily be in this list um Stuff like, what might be another one? Oh, like like Machine Gun with Jimi Hendrix. Uh, you know, just kind of like those moments when an artist just does something that just makes you feel like you've opened right into their heart and you're completely seeing their soul just laid out with, you know, no, no goggles, no anything, just truly what they are. All I can do is write about it is one of those songs for Leonard Skinner, in my mind. I mean... Some of you might hear and think it's the cheesiest song you ever heard, but for me, deep stuff. Uh, another one that kind of goes with a lot of the things we just said about Leonard Skinner, again, probably one you didn't see coming, John Cougar Mellencamp, this is Scarecrow, and of course the song Rain on the Scarecrow, talk about a song that moves me, this song creeps the hell out of me every single time I listen to it. And I play it again and get creeped out again. I play it again and get creeped out again. Um, I, don't, I don't know why, but I mean, you know, in the song, he's basically telling a story about how his dad, grandfather, and everything, you know, they were farmers, farm went under, they had to sell off things, and, you know, so forth. But again, just the way he tells that story in the song, it, it's almost like it, it takes you into this jeepers creepers if you guys remember that movie it's almost like you're, you're taken right into that movie he's just the picture that he creates and when he talks about uh, how grandma sat on the porch with a bible in his hand sometimes I hear, I hear her singing take us to the promised land it's just like even right now just saying those lyrics even though I kind of botched them a little bit goosebumps all up my arms right now <laughs> so man, I don't know what it is about that song it's just just the imagery that it, it brings forward for me is just so freaking powerful. It just totally moves me. And last but not least, again, there's a few that I could pick from this artist or slash or and or band, but uh, had to go with Fleetwood Mac and the song Landslide. Again, those moments when you feel like an artist is opening up their soul and just kind of Connecting with you, that powerful landslide is definitely one that you you have to have included in that. Uh, oddly enough, you know, with Stevie Nicks, the other song I was going to choose, or two other songs I was going to choose was Stand Back, which may seem a little odd because that's more of an upbeat kind of song, but again, Stevie connects with me so strong in that particular song. And the uh, the other one too was uh, Seven Wonders by Fleetwood Mac. That's another one I had to kind of mention out there because that song actually gives me goosebumps. To, uh, Lindsay's guitar playing in that, along with Stevie's vocals, just gives me some goosebumps to the point to where sometimes I just have to like sit still because I just like cannot control my body. <laughs> but uh, definitely put Fleetwood Mac on that list too. So again, right now those are. 10 songs that I could put on right now and just kind of know 
you know, it, it's just going to make me physically react in ways that are completely out of my control. So that's my Give Me 10 for my first rock video. Like I said, over the next few days, I'm going to do one for R&B, one for jazz, one for metal, and uh, maybe one for hip-hop, too. I'll maybe squeeze one in there, too, so it's kind of a, a fun, fun concept. So uh, there you go, man. That's my first response. And as always, VC, let me know what you think. Be kind. Don't jump on me too hard for the whole Michael Bolton thing. And uh, we will talk to you later, guys. All right, take care. If I get this thing to turn off, <laughs> we'll see you, VC.